Bro. Bro, I look like I'm 6'4 or 6'5. No. <laughs> what is this? Oh, I got the lock on me too. I'm like your height. I'm just gonna help and let this lock suit threes, I guess. But I don't know if he can shoot. He ain't like that. Oh my gosh, bro. Why did he run away? I got a full bar and this man ran away like a green animation and he missed? And that was a full bar too? Oh no, I thought he was on a poster as me. Oh, out. Come on. Oh, I, I feel, it's so weird shooting with this. I can't get a full bar. Like my head is so big, I gotta get used to that. Yo, you shot that? Oh my, I can't full bar anything. This is weird. Oh, got him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, baby. Ooh, I'll t oh, oh, green. I don't know how he didn't block that. I have no idea how that wasn't a block. I don't know why I passed out of that. I thought I would get a bad animation. What? Is that one in? Bro, it's not even like in front of me. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, man down twice. Oh my gosh. Yo, he's a lock. He's a pure lock. Yo, why would you pass that? Bro, you are, you are, what? Jelly? Let's go, come on, get a good rebounding animation. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Here, game it, please. Thank you, oh my gosh. He's a stretch. What it do, baby? Oh my gosh. What it do, baby? Yeah. Oh my gosh! I was gonna pass out. That's a pump, bro. No, that's off me. Huh? Let's go. Can I shoot it? Thank you, I gotta take over. Finally. Game. Oh, bad catch at him. Oh, you should. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Moving on to game three, I'm gonna make it post comp for y'all because during the game, I wasn't really commentating what was happening. So in game number three, you can see we're going up against a pure stretch and a shot creating slasher, amateur three and amateur one. To start the game off, this defender has no idea where he's going. I don't know what he was doing. I think he was going to double team Randy. I have no idea. But anyway, that's gonna leave me with an open two. And in the very next play, I'm gonna hand the ball off to Randy. He's gonna drive right past his guy and he's also gonna get an easy two. These guys were lacking on defense all game. As you can see right here, I get double teamed for no reason. I don't understand why they're leaving Randy open. It makes no sense to me how people play defense in this game right here. I'm gonna be left wide open for an easy dunk. And once again, these guys were just lacking on defense all game. Right here, I'm gonna give the ball to Randy off the inbound. And once again, the defender's gonna press him on the three for no reason and just let him drive right by. Like guarding people on the three, you're not really supposed to press them like that. I mean, if they're a stretch, I can see why but you can't just let a build drive right by you for an easy layup or dunk. Right here, Randy's gonna do the same thing. He's kind of faking this guy out before he goes to the rim. And right here, unfortunately, he does end up missing, but he gets his own rebound. I'm gonna drive into the paint, get both defenders on me, and hit Randy for a wide open corner three. And you know that's what I do. I love to set my teammates up for plays. And luckily for Randy, he did get takeover after that corner three. Right here, he's gonna pull a deep three. He does end up missing, but he does get the rebound. He's gonna give the ball to me, and look at this defender. He's gonna press me on the three, so I'm gonna drive right by, get a nice hop step into the paint, and get an easy layup, and I also get takeover. So now they don't just have to stop Randy, they have to stop me as well. As you can see, I'm just gonna shove this guy out of the way. And speaking of shoving, next year they gotta tone down post-scoring takeover. Post-scoring actually does take a good amount of skill, especially if you're seven feet and not seven foot three. But once you get takeover, it literally takes no skill at all. It's insane to me. Right here, Randy's gonna fake pass till I run around. He's gonna hand the ball to me. I'm gonna drive into the paint, and once again, they're gonna double team. I don't understand. Why are you leaving a shot creator open in the corner? If it's a slasher, or a lockdown, or an inside build like that, I understand leaving them open and double teaming to stop the easy two, but... Bro, you can't just leave somebody open in the corner. I really don't get it. And right here, we're going into the fourth and final game. As you can see, we're going up against two lockdown defenders. Both of them have good records. To start things off, Randy's gonna fake to the left, end up running right behind me, and he's gonna end up greening the three. And unfortunately, since we are going up against lockdowns, you can see Randy was dribbling a little bit too much, the lockdown ended up getting the steal, and the lockdown was stuck in front of Randy, he pulls a mid-range and ends up hitting it. So the start of the game was not looking great, but then this lockdown ended up pulling up for a moving three-pointer. No idea what he was doing right here. After I take it back, he stepped up way too high, which left me to get an easy dunk. And speaking of lockdown defenders, 
honestly, in NBA 2K20, I think they should take out lockdown defenders because honestly, with a lockdown, you don't have to be that good. You just spam square pretty much and you'll get the steal a lot of the time. But even if you're in the vicinity of the shot and you don't contest it, it might count as contested. So it doesn't take much skill. All you have to do is be kind of near the person and the shot might even count as lightly contested. So I think they should take lockdowns out, but raise the defense for every other archetype just by a little bit because I feel like with lockdowns, you don't have to be that good to use them. So I feel like if they made every archetype's defense a little bit better and took out lockdowns from the game, it would add a little bit more of a skill gap because you don't have a bailout build on defense, you would actually have to play good defense. Anyway, going back to the gameplay, this lockdown was trying to body Randy right here. I was trying to bait the help right here. He did end up missing, luckily. I thought he was going to make that. And right here in the passing lanes, these lockdowns are crazy with the steals. I almost got a turnover right there, but as you can see, Randy's going to get an easy dunk. And actually, before this gameplay, I was playing twos with my guy Jaden, and this lockdown also pulled up on us before. Only the one in the white, not the one with no shirt. So he pulled up on us before he ended up losing. We beat them 21-0. to zero. He was with some rim protector who won ruffles and gold rush. So that was pretty crazy that we beat them. And at this point in the game, we were actually feeling pretty good because we were up. We did have nine points against lockdowns right here. You can see they were lacking. They ended up letting me get takeover. That's a big mistake because as I said before in this video, post scoring takeover is the most overpowered thing in this game. It's kind of insane. But anyway, I came behind Randy for him to give me the ball, but he actually caught the defense lacking, went to the weak side and got an easy wide open dunk. I don't know how they were lacking on that. I was literally behind Randy on the three point line from limitless range and they were still guarding me. Don't get why. Right here, I'm gonna go into the post, see what their defense is like, see if they were gonna try to bait me. Right here, this guy jumps, I'm gonna put up an easy layup, and just like that, we already have 15. We literally just had nine points, and at this point in the game, we were just going off. Right here, off the inbound, I'm gonna end up giving the ball to Randy. This lockdown gave him way too much space on the three, he's gonna pull, he's left wide open, and he ends up greening the three. So at this point, all we needed were two two-pointers or a three-pointer. So since I did have takeover, I decided to just go into the post on this lockdown, See what I can do, see if the other lockdown would double team. And right here, he does end up double teaming, but I do end up faking this guy out. He ends up goaltending, and now all we need is a two or three. And the reason I didn't pass out there is because I thought this lockdown was trying to bait me and act like he was helping so that I would pass and get a turnover. Right here, I'm going to give the ball to Randy off the inbound. He's going to give it back to me. And once again, I'm going to go into the post, test these lockdowns defense out, but they're going to leave Randy wide open in the corner. He does fake because it is a lockdown. He ends up pulling a bad shot. And now we just got to clamp them, which should be pretty easy to do because they are two lockdowns. But this lockdown can kind of body Randy. Right here, he's going to pull for a mid-range. And luckily for us, he does miss because in the beginning of the game, he scored a 2 and a 3 off of jump shots. And right here, I'm going to get a horrible turnover. And this lockdown is going to end up scoring. So like I said before, all we need is a stop and for Randy not to get bodied in the post. Because a lot of people do run lockdown at point guard. And once they do get the ball, they just body a guard. Because this lockdown that we're going against is actually a small forward. He probably maxed his weight out, which means he does have 94 strength. Right here, he is going to pull a 3 from the wing. And he's going to hit. So he has 8 of their team's points. And they're all off jump shots, which is insane. Lockdowns should definitely not be able to shoot. Because they are a defensive build. But... I guess 2K wants to do whatever. So anyway, right here, this lockdown's trying to dribble, trying to get past Randy. Right here, he is going to get a little bit of space. I am going to try to bait him, try to be in the passing lane. But right here, he does put a layup on Randy. It's a bad shot, but he does end up getting the rebound. Right here, he is going to pull another three. He does miss, but I was not in position for the board. Nowhere near in position. That was bad on my part. Right here, this lockdown's going to get Randy jumping. Randy does end up playing good defense. Right here, we do end up double teaming. This guy hits the top of the backboard. They have two seconds at this point. Randy plays perfect defense, but this lockdown does get the board, and Randy is going to get the bump steal. So right here, all we have to do is score. This game was very stressful because these locks were just pressing us all game. But right here, Randy's going to end them off with a nice layup with the Jamal Crawford layup package. And before this video ends, since this is a Road to 99 video, I'm going to update you guys on my percentage. As you can see, in this gameplay, I was 20.8% to 99. Right now, I'm actually 33.3%. And this gameplay is from, I think, four days ago. So that's 13% in four days, which is actually pretty good. So I've been getting about 25% a week. But honestly, I have no idea when I'm going to hit 99. Because as you guys are watching this video, I actually am on my first day of vacation. I'm going to be gone for about two weeks. And I don't have too many videos planned while I'm on vacation. I'll be gone from the 3rd of July until the 13th or 14th. So make sure to look out for videos around the 13th or the 14th. That's when consistent uploads will come back. 
But for now, I think I only have two or three videos. I'm not 100% sure yet as I'm recording this first one, but I'll have about two or three videos for you guys while I'm on vacation. And I hope I've been uploading consistently enough for you guys. I've just been trying to balance hitting 99 and playing my career and stage 1v1s with uploading. So I haven't been as consistent as I'd like to be, but I feel like I am being pretty consistent. And once 2k20 drops, since I'm not going to go for top rep or anything like that, I'm definitely going to be a lot more consistent for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been King Josh and I'm out. Peace.